The state's Department of Water Resources took its latest tally of the snowpack and the results were underwhelming. So what does it mean for Kern County and will things improve? Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens has the results as California braces for more wet weather. California is dealing with back-to-back -back storms and it's expected to bring a lot of rain and some snow to the Central Valley. However, despite the increase in precipitation, the results from the latest snow survey from the Department of Water Resources are still showing disappointing results. It's about half of where we'd like to be um, or half of, of average, if you will. Although statewide precipitation is sitting at 82% of average, statewide snowpack is only at 52%. While that number has increased since early January, it's not much compared to where we were at this time last year. Last year, the snowpack was at 214% of average, and we were actually standing on over seven feet of snow here at the Phillips Station snow course. But Kern County has been getting hit by multiple storms recently, so why the big difference? This is a kind of a warm storm because it has a warm subtropical tap. It's the uh, Pineapple Express you've heard about from uh, Hawaii, so it is kind of warm. Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Miles Muzio says with this next system, significant rainfall at high elevations is in our future. We're going to see a lot of rain at uh, somewhat higher elevations. You get up uh, 6,000 feet in this year and it's raining. That's not necessarily good because then it doesn't keep the snowpack going because it's, it's all melting. The state's Department of Water Resources says the Sierra Nevada mountains supply around 30 percent of California's water needs. Tom McCarthy from the Kern County Water Agency says although they're grateful for the water, those warmer storms aren't the most beneficial. You know, one thing in the water world we talk about is the best reservoir is, is snow in the mountains. Uh, and so we need those colder storms uh, to keep that snow held up there. However, this doesn't mean there's no hope in the upcoming weeks. It is going to be overall good because at the really high elevations, it's going to be snowing to beat the band. Uh, mainly it'll be way up high. And up in the high Sierra, we could be seeing 8 to 10 feet of new snow. More good news is that although we will see an increase in rain and snow in the near future, the worry of the Kern River overflowing isn't as prominent of a concern as it was last year. Kind of two different things where last year we were worried about high volume of runoff, just significant volume coming with snow melt. And I think this year so far it's been more um, high intensity. As for the latest water allocation amount, that number has not been updated since the 10% that was forecasted back in December. McCarthy says the next anticipated update should be by the end of February. In Bakersfield, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News.